Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. <laughs> so based on the success of yesterday's <laughs> video of you, my dad here, Joe Perillo, who's on YouTube, Joe Perillo, I think that's your username, uh, joe.perillo.com, uh, I guess I'll redirect to your YouTube channel. Today. Uh, so, uh, y y it was successful. Everyone seemed to like you. They, they want to see you on a regular basis. They're oh. encouraging you to do more YouTube videos. Yeah, I got some emails. Of course, some people said that I, I, I let myself go to hell. <laughs> they didn't realize it was you and that we are biologically related. You can no longer claim that I was hatched and you found me under a bridge. Thanks for that childhood scarring. Uh, you have a very extensive political background. And, I mean, I grew up around it, mm -hmm. and I thought it would be an interesting topic of discussion to talk about maybe what's been going on uh, lately uh, in the political realm, specifically with the Internet. Do you see the Internet as the future of citizenship and involvement in political processes, or are politicians still disconnected from the conversations that are happening online? I think the ones that have uh, learned to use the Internet use it well. Um, I think our current current uh, president, uh, that's one of the main reasons he got in office was the Internet. He made a great use of it in the last election. Someone asked earlier what my favorite quote was, and I guess it's, don't ask what you can do, what your country could do for you, but rather what you can do for your country. And uh, I, as my son said, I've been involved in politics for a long time. I was on our Altoona City Council a uh, city of about 12,000 people. I was on the council for uh, 22 years. I was in the Marine Corps for six years. That's not really political. That's taking orders. But uh, but you don't have any party affiliation, really. You kind of you're, no. You're I'm more an independent. I'm a Republican. Yeah. Uh, I'm neither a Democrat nor a Republican. Uh, I've worked with both parties, uh, but uh, no. Have you, do you use the internet in in getting any kind of information, or do you still rely on traditional media? Uh, I like to watch CNN and Fox both. I'll watch Fox for a while, and then I'll tune it over to CNN, and then I'll make my own decisions. One's yeah. liberal, one's yeah, conservative. But, yeah, but do you really think that, I'm gonna I'm gonna call you on this? Do you really think that Fox News is news? Do I think so? Yeah, I, I think they do a pretty good job. I, seriously, not all of them, but a lot of them do. In what way? Uh, they seem to present both sides, just like uh, CNN does. I guess they're no more biased than CNN. One is that's why I watch both. One's more biased to the left, and one more biased to the right. But you don't get any information or a lot of information online or from the internet. Uh, no, enough. I just want to get in there and do some research on a particular subject. Not really. I, I pretty well depend on uh, uh, newscast and. Uh, Newspaper. So, what is the internet going to pay, play a, a bigger role, or is it is it still going to still stay in the realm of like big media in terms of getting information out about one candidate or another? I think the internet's taken over free media. I see it's all live. It's all now. Uh, uh, what's happened in the uh, uh, Near East? Uh, things happen, and uh, you're reading about it in Twitter and. Facebook as it goes on and you'll see a lot of the videos coming across and so a government can't hide anymore. But they are. They Someone said they try to shut it off. Fox is owned by the government they suck. Which the government or Fox? <laughs> well in many ways political contributions go back into the media. I mean they pay for spots, right? No matter the station. It doesn't really it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and that yes, I did vote for Branstead. For governor of the state of Iowa. So I'm reading those this week. You know, for, for people who are out there, I mean, I, we've got a younger audience and an older audience. You know, if, if they want to be involved in the political process, a lot of them you know, kind of take a, a stance that someone else is going to take care of it. What, what would you encourage them to do, specifically with the tools at their disposal? I think the big thing is to get involved because uh, you people out here have, have uh, abilities that a lot of people my age don't, and uh, the ones slightly behind me. They don't have a lot of um, uh, expertise in the internet, so they rely on all the young people to get in there and do what needs to be done in order to get to the constituents they're trying to reach. You ran for political office recently. Yeah. You set up a website, you had Twitter, Facebook, but did that really help you any? Or? Well, I didn't use it as much as I thought I was going to be able to. We ran a small campaign. Uh, uh, 
a little bit underfunded, but we did what we could do. Uh, we got a lot of yard signs from uh, Twitter, and people would ask questions, and I would ask them. I would answer their questions on uh, either Facebook or actually on Twitter also. But I'm just kind of getting my feet wet with both of those still. Right. I've been messing with them or playing around with them for a year, and uh, I do a little more and a little more each time I uh, look at it. Any other questions from the Nomis? Uh, I don't know if you're seeing anything there. Nothing? Someone mentioned Sky News. I'm not, I I thought Sky News was something by the airlines. But. No, that's. I think it's in the UK. I think it's Fox ah, News version okay. of the UK. Make a statement about this. Politics. It goes too fast by the time oh, I really? read. Yeah, for me. Oh. Okay, so. Here's well, a, here's you know, a, keeping a level head in politics, I'm not always sure that's a good idea. I, I'm not sure who this gentleman is here. Microagent? Yeah. But um, uh, I don't think any of them really keep a level head. They're so busy trying to figure out what you want and try to tell you what you want and make you believe that's what you want that they really don't do what's good for everybody. Okay. And, uh, I think that's what's lost. So, Dad, I've uh, got a question from Matt in the Nomi's chat room. First, thank you for having the initiative to run for public office. Secondly, do you see technology and politics becoming increasingly intertwined as the world continues to adopt a global Internet? Uh, yes, I do. And, uh, uh, again, you saw it more in, in a historical pro aspect in, uh, uh, like, Syria and, and uh, some of the... Uh, what they call it, the Arab fire or whatever, and uh, spring, Arab, the spring. Arab Spring, yeah, where a lot of the countries are starting to rebel against their governors, their governments, uh, and uh, I think it'll make people freer in the long run, and the governments need to adapt to it and to learn how to use it in a good way. Well, you know, that's the greater challenge is that you know I don't really see borders. If I if I'm talking to people online, I don't think right up front which country are they are they coming from right and you would you would have no you would have no idea where they're from like so, something went by and you said it was great britain uh, i had no idea so would you see something like uh, potentially a lot of geopolitical boundaries disappearing uh, i think there's a lot of people would like to see that happen i don't i would like to see our country stay our country sure i, I don't think any country would necessarily disagree with that unless they were oppressed right but you know as we you know, start to see ourselves as a global society, a global economy, isn't that inevitable? Well, we're heading in that direction. We're heading towards a more, more global. The globe is getting smaller. Right. And it's through the technologies that we have. Technology makes our world go round. And uh, the bad thing is a lot of times people will read something on a computer and then they automatically assume it's 100% correct. And that's not always a good position to take. Uh, again, that's one of the reasons I, I try to get both sides and then I make my own decision based on what I heard from both sides. Is one prejudice to one side or the other? Probably. But I still make my decision based on as much information as I can get. Okay, here's another question. Uh, this is from J.M. Cloutier 1 in the uh, Nomi's chat room. What do you think needs to change in government other than technology? I think and governments... Keep, keep, I, keep in mind, again, these, these guys are from all around the world. Okay, too, no, so. I understand. I think I come from the business world also. I'm, I'm an accountant CPA. Uh, I do think the governments need to run more like a business or more like you run your own household. If you have uh, X dollars, that's what you spend. You don't spend Y dollars. You spend X dollars because that's what you have. Governments tend to spend more than they have and more than they can get. So then that revenue, in order to make up that difference, has to come from somewhere, and it comes from us, one way or the other. So. Wicked apparently disagrees with you. I don't yeah. know if you hear him barking in the background. <laughs> he, he must be one he, of those He's very upset at what you're saying right now. So, so SOPA, I, I just got a, someone asked what I thought of SOPA. Uh, um, I think the piracy, piracy has to stop, and I... Uh, how they're going to get that done, I don't know, because the Internet's so big and so uh, uh, expanded that it's tough for people to get a control on that. Uh, I guess you find the ones that are 
breaking the law and you uh, shut them down, but don't don't punish everybody for the for the few. That that's very well stated. Uh, there's another question actually came in from Ollie forty three. If I scroll up, this I I, I don't know if. I don't know where Ollie is from, but he, he suggests or asks, do you think the internet should have a global law, not have country based laws? So kind of it's, you know. Yeah, the problem with the global law, then you need a global police. Right. And, uh, you know, One each world con- order. Right. Right. And uh, I'm not sure anybody currently wants that. Now, maybe sometime in the future, I don't know how in the future, will become global. I always thought as a young kid, I, I'm kind of a. I like um, Star Trek and Star Wars and those kinds of movies. Um, I always felt sometime that um, uh, someone from beyond our galaxy would would attack us and that would unite well, the world. Didn't Reagan say that? Yeah, maybe he did. I, I he know. said, you know, he, he can't, he, I think it was a, uh, what was it? Like, he can't imagine, he imagines that if we woke up one day and, you know, you know the earth was under attack by an alien force, we, you know, how united we would actually be. Yeah. There's there's a there's certainly a grain of truth to that. Yeah, it's just like uh, some of the uh, big things that happen in various countries. Our country, you can look at Pearl Harbor, and 9/11, uh, particularly 9/11, because most of the folks here probably remember that the Americans especially. But that brought our country together, even though it was for a brief brief time. Uh, Do you think we'll find? You, you mentioned Star Trek here. Uh, do you think we'll find ourselves in that I, that type of utopian society eventually? Yeah, I do. I I think eventually there will be time travel. Well, and not just time travel. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, I believe all that stuff. It's kind of been now shown to be a possibility, but I mean more of a, instead of having to deal in, in credits and you know, generating revenue, the whole you know idea of, of you know he, being a human being is exploring because right. this is what we're here for what else are we here for so right. in, in terms of economies and societies do you see ourselves going that way not in our lifetime necessarily yeah no i think eventually it will head that way we'll head beyond earth if that's what you're asking well yeah I think or, or just, beyond you know, earth. In, instead of being mired in the politics that we have now just a mm-hmm. different type of exopolitics i guess would be the term well i think you're gonna as long as you have two people alive you're gonna have disagreement hang on you are not an alien. <laughs> you are not any. I've already explained this to you, dog. Uh, he, th- he, he, honestly. 2012. He won't let up. The movie 20, 2012. I don't remember that one. 2001, I remember. No, I'm not an alien, I don't think. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I can't imagine you would be. I remember Tribbles. And in Star Trek, they had the uh, the tribbles, the little. Mm-hmm. Your head looks like a tribble. Yeah, it does. 